Victorian nurses to consider strike action, and Norm Gallagher throws down the gauntlet for a 35-hour week in the building industry. In sport, John Northey is appointed the new coach of Melbourne. Palestinian terrorists have hijacked an Italian cruise liner in the Mediterranean and are threatening to start executing American passengers. The cruise ship Archille Loro, which used to bring Italian migrants to Australia, was carrying 454 passengers and crew. It was seized by about seven heavily armed terrorists who say they're from a previously unheard of group, the Palestinian Liberation Front. These are pictures of the ship taken during a previous cruise. Today it had just left the Egyptian port of Alexandria when armed Palestinians commandeered the vessel. Officials here say at least seven men carried out the hijack, placing explosives around the ship. A cruise line official said the crew and officers aboard are not armed and would be in no position to resist a takeover. Most of the passengers, including many Americans, disembarked in Alexandria to sightsee and were planning to join the ship at its next port of call. The foreign ministry here is in constant communication with Washington, Jerusalem and Cairo. The Palestinian hijackers of the cruise ship are demanding the release of 50 Palestinians in Israel's jails. Top of the list, Samir Konateri, believed to be this man. He was captured by the Israeli army six years ago after a gun battle on an Israeli beach. Konateri and three other Palestinians landed from the sea and killed an Israeli man and his five-year-old daughter. Two of the terrorists were killed in the gun battle. The third was released in May when Israel freed 1,150 prisoners, mostly Palestinians, in return for the freedom of three Israeli prisoners of war. That lopsided prisoner swap was sharply criticized at the time and is now regretted by Israel's leaders. They've said from now on, Israel will stick to its former principle of not giving in to terrorist demands. In the wake of Britain's worst rioting in living memory, police have warned that they will... Sure, and they're frantically trying to contact relatives to let them know they're safe. One American says his wife is still on the ship. My wife is. My sister's on the boat with her husband, a cousin of mine, and some dear friends. And we don't know if we don't have any answers. They say it's off that off port say it, but we don't know. They're trying to reach my children at home so that they'll know that I'm here and she's on the boat. Uh, I don't know whether they have any word where any of us are. So the, the embassy says that they'll contact and hopefully they will. I'll have more news here on 10 in one hour. See you then. My News with Peter Hitchener. Good evening. Palestinian guerrillas who hijacked an Italian cruise liner are still threatening to kill passengers unless Israel frees jailed, jailed Palestinians. They're threatening to blow up the ship, which is now believed to be heading for Beirut, but it's believed most of the passengers are safe on shore in Egypt. We've just received this report from the American ABC network. The bulk of those still being held are crew members, over 300 in all, who are mostly Italian nationals and some 70 to 80 passengers, many thought to be elderly vacationers. Italian Prime Minister Bettino Craxi huddled with his top aides to plot strategy, and the Italian military was put on alert, if needed, to intervene in the crisis. PLO Chairman Yasser Arafat told the Italians that his organization has nothing to do with the hijacking. Despite the government's close ties with Palestinian leaders, Italy has become a center for attacks by Middle East terrorists recently. Three weeks ago, a young Palestinian hurled a grenade into a crowded night spot in Rome, injuring over 40 people, many of them Americans. A week later, a woman was killed when another Palestinian set off a bomb inside the British Airways office here. The hijacked ship left Italy only five days ago and has sufficient provisions to stay at sea for another week at least. Because the ship is large and can be moved easily, it will make any rescue attempt difficult at best. Victoria's hospitals and schools headed for chaos. That tonight, an Italian cruise ship hijacked in the Mediterranean is tonight steaming towards Beirut. Speaking by sea phone, the captain said he'd been ordered to go there after terrorists seized the ship this morning. On board are almost 400 passengers and crew. The terrorists have threatened to shoot them and destroy the ship if their demands are not met. The holiday is over for the passengers from the hijacked cruise ship who arrived here by bus from Port Said early this morning. Some 620 persons who left the ship yesterday for a day trip to Cairo escaped from the events now unfolding on board in the Mediterranean. Those who were safe called home. 
One American called to tell his son that six of those in his group of 11, including his wife, remain on the ship. Following a meeting early this morning, the Italian Defense Department dispatched several warships and reconnaissance aircraft to the area. But a military spokesman said no action would be taken that endangered lives. According to the shipping company that runs the cruise, the number of passengers aboard the hijacked ship number about 70, with some 300 crew members. They would not disclose the nationality of those held hostage. But Italian news reports say they are of mixed nationality. The Palestinian pirates apparently boarded the ship when it set sail from Genoa last week. The Italian foreign ministry says that between six and 12 terrorists are on board, heavily armed, and threatening to blow up the vessel if a rescue operation is launched by sea or air. They have demanded the release of 50 Palestinian prisoners in jails in Israel. They vow to start killing passengers if their demands are not announced over Egyptian radio. Victorian nurses will consider strike action when they meet on Friday cruise ship Achille Loro have decided to surrender. However, the report from Argence France Press, quoting diplomatic sources in Port Said, has yet to be officially confirmed. We received this report via satellite a few moments ago. It now appears the hijackers have agreed to leave the ship. They reportedly have ordered a boat, and the Italian consulate in Port Said advised reporters to go to the dockside. All that came after ship-to-shore radio conversations in which the hijackers indicated the Achille Loro was not their original target. The hijackers' leader said, the passengers were not our aim, the ship was not our aim. We had to change our plans. For seven hours, Palestine Liberation Organization officials had been negotiating with the hijackers and offering advice. At one point, a PLO negotiator said, be patient, be careful. There is still confusion about whether all the hostages are safe. Despite reports that two hostages had been killed, one of the hijackers said over the radio that everyone was safe, and the ship's captain said the same thing. It appears this hijacking may soon be over, and before long we may have definite news on the hostages. Paul Miller, NBC News, Cairo. Earlier, PLO leader Yasser Arafat condemned the hijacking and denied his organization had anything to do with it. The hijackers are said to be members of a splinter group calling itself the Palestine Liberation Front, dedicated to using violence and terrorism in pursuit of the rights of Palestinians. When the headquarters... It was founded by a Palestinian named Abu Abbas. And the violence by the Palestine Liberation Front and other splinter PLO groups has been increasing. September 17th, in Rome, a hand grenade wounded 38 people in an outdoor cafe. A Palestinian was arrested. One week later, a British Airways office was bombed in Rome, 12 injured. The same day, three Israelis on a sailing trip were murdered while in port in Cyprus. The killers were caught. Their crime was not only an attack on Israel, it was also an attack on Yasser Arafat. In Puerto Rico, National Guardsmen and U.S. Army engineers are searching for hundreds